station. This is Houston. Are you ready for the event? The event. I'm ready for the event. Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. This is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. This is Hirata in Tenku. How do you hear me? Hirata-san, I can hear you loud and clear. よく聞こえます。よろしくお願いします。I hear you loud and clear. Good evening, Mr. Onishi. I am Hirata. I was the Muta in Uchu Brothers. Let's say good evening together. Good evening, Mr. Onishi. And this is Ken. I was a Hibito. Number Hibito. Hello, I'm Mori. I serve as MC. Today we are connecting three sites, uh, Konika Minaruta Tenku at the Tokyo site, which is the main site, and also JL Tower Sapporo, and also across Fukuoka. There are so many people gathering here, and everyone is looking forward to speaking to you, Mr. Onishi. Hi, uh, Hirata-san, Ken-san, I'm久しぶり. Mori-san, first of all, I'm again on the stage. Hirata-san, Ken-san, I haven't seen you for a while. And also, very nice to meet you, Mr. Mori, and also everyone who are gathering there, and also audience. Thank you very much. I'm Takuya Onishi, and I was launched from Bagno, Kazakhstan, on the Tanabata, July 7th, and it is already 75 days since I arrived, and I've perfectly fitted in the space environment. Well, that's great. I am very busy every day, but uh, and everyone is cheering up, and that is really keep me going. Thank you very much for gathering here today. Well, uh, we would like to take questions starting from Sapporo. I'm second uh, grader of uh, university. I'm Maria Shimoyama, and my question is, what were you thinking in the rocket on the way to the space? Thank you very much for that question. Well, I, when I was on the launch pad, I was uh, very calm and waiting for the time of launch. And while I was on the way, the shake or the vibration of the rocket was not so big, but the rocket, as it goes up, uh, jettisons some of the rockets, but the impact of the jettisoning was very strong, and it sounded as if something was broke, so uh, that surprised me a little bit. Thank you very much for the question. Thank you. Now from Fukuoka site. I'm second, um, Jan, uh, junior high school first grader, and my name is uh, Kijima. How is your former job an airplane pilot helping you in ISS? Thank you very much for the question. Yes, I was a pilot before. And the pilot and astronauts are actually very similar in jobs. Uh, there are dangers, and also safety is very important. Those are common to both of the job. Therefore, the training is uh, very long and strenuous. But uh, I was very much accustomed to it since I was a pilot, so that was a good thing. And also in International Space Station, uh, we work together with many people, not just other crews, but also commanders and controllers on the ground. Therefore, and in that sense, uh, we, we work with a lot of people, like uh, maintenance people and control people on the ground. And the teamwork was something that I learned when I was a pilot, so that is very useful. And also controlling robotic arms is actually very similar to controlling airplane, so I can utilize my skill as a pilot. Thank you very much for the question. Thank you very much.
はい、どうもありがとうございます。私はですね、あの好きな音楽を。Thank you very much for that question. Well, I like listening to music and looking down on the earth. That is a very nice time for myself. And when I was little, I watched the movie Star Wars, and that、uh, was a trigger to get interest in the space. So、uh, the other day, when I watched the movie, the other day, I was really, really happy. And、uh, I believe that、uh, there are. A lot of children who see the Space Brothers movie. So, Mr. Koyama or Mr. Hirata san, I hope that、uh, you will continue to give dreams to little children. And also in space, I can sleep very well. So, sleeping is also a very good refreshment for myself. Actually, I brought the sleeping bag that I use in space. So, this is the sleeping bag that I use in space. If you're sleeping without a、uh, sleeping like, a bag like this, I tend to float. That is why I use sleeping bag. Usually, this is stuck to the wall, but today I try to get in while it is not attached to any wall. はい、こういう感じでふわふわ、えー、中に入って浮いた状態で寝ていますそう、so, this is how I get in and I can float あのリラックスした状態で寝ているので I do not use any muscle at all, at all. I can be very much relaxed so even if I am very tired I can be really relaxed after one night's sleep and get up really refreshed Thank you very much for the question Now from Sapo side again. I'm Saki Ishigami. My question is follows. We hear that you get a little taller in space than on the ground. Was it painful when you grew? Also, did you find anything troublesome in space? Yes, I think that the height of the height is very important. Well, yes, it is true that、uh, we get taller. And on the first day, I was in the Soyuz spacecraft, but the next、uh, day, my back around here started, I started to have pain here. And it lasted for about a week, and it was、uh, quite painful. For about a week, I, the pain woke me up, and probably as I grew,、uh, probably the spine is extended. And I thought that must be true. I was 178 when I was on ground. I had wanted to be 180. The other day, I thought now I have already grew. So、uh, Kate is my crewmate, and I asked her to measure my height. And it turned out it was 179. And the troublesome thing, actually, the change in body is quite large. For example, the circulation in body, like、uh, blood, or、uh, they are extended, and, ex and I have a moon face, and also I have blood in the head. So it, sometimes it's difficult to think deeply. So I have actually、uh, quite a lot of change in body for the Especially the first week. So that was the trouble that I had at the beginning. Thank you for that question. Now from Hukuoka. I'm third grader of、uh, Sina High School. My name is Satsuki Sadamatsu. In the future, I assume that there would be time that much more people would go to space than now. And what kind of influences would it have on us? Who would go to space, do you think? And what do we have to be aware of? Thank you very much. I hope that the time will come 
that uh, many people would go to space. And uh, human beings are the kind of living thing that started to go to new places, like uh, during the uh, big uh, ocean time, they went into the ocean. So I believe that the human being would go into launch into various uh, new world, and that way our culture or civilization would go up farther. But what we have to be careful of is that the space is not the environment that the human being can naturally live. So by the time that a lot of people go to space, we have to have the safe environment. And also, uh, we astronauts go through very strong, strenuous uh, training. And uh, I hope that uh, you would have uh, developed a very comfortable uh, system by the time that many people go to space. Thank you for that question. Now from Tokyo site, uh, fourth grader, elementary school, and Sarafukawa. Can you actually see man-made artifacts on the Earth from space? Well, if I use the long distance lens or camera, you can see almost quite a lot of things like a big building. But without camera, uh, there aren't so many people that you can see with your bare eye. For example, uh, if it is a large bridge or airport, those are fairly easy to find. Also, Palm Island, that is a mom-made uh, island in Dubai, uh, that is also visible from the space. Thank you very much for the question. Now from Sapporo. I am Yuki Tamura. Is there anything you noticed for the uh, for the first time since you arrived in ISS? Thank you for that question. Well, the new findings, actually, there are a lot. Day to day, I'm learning a lot. The space environment is very much different from the Earth. For example, things float, and every single aspect in the space is very different from the way we live on the ground. Therefore, I'm learning every day. So there's something that I want to show you uh, that it is very difficult to get control of items here. So this is a very big bag, and there is something like cushions, a lot of cushions inside. And if I open this bag, and without thinking much, and if I try to take out something, they actually start to jump out from it. So those are the kind of things that uh, are very different environment in the space, and it is rather difficult. Well, I have to close this thing. はい、ちょっと思ってた以上に散らばっちゃいましたけど、後でこれで私全部片付けるので大丈夫です。Well, they are this past more than I had thought, but I'm going to clean this up later, so it will be fine. Thank you for that question. Now from Fukuoka site. I'm university student. My name is Ayaka Kitajima. In the time of space shuttle, the requirement for the minimum height of an astronaut was 149 centimeter, whereas after Soyuz height uh, became playing a major role, it has changed to 158 centimeter. What is the reason for this change? And also, as it was described in Uchu Kyodai, a spacesuit for small people being developed in real life. 
はい、あのソユーズがですね比較的あの身長の制限が厳しいのはですね、あのはですね、well, ソユーズは非常に厳しいレギュレーションがあるので、その理由は、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケットシャトルは、ロケ Um, hard、uh, landing.、Uh, if the main parachute is broken, then we use a sub, sub、um, parachute.、Uh, so the, it is rather、um, hard landing. And in order to、uh, make it a little softer, we have a custom made、uh, seat liner. In order to soften the landing impact. So that is the reason why we have some regulation、uh, because the seating itself has a certain size. So the people, the astronauts, have to be able to fit in there perfectly because otherwise, if you have larger gap, then you tend to bump to the seat. So that is the reason I hear. Uh, that the regulation is rather strict in case of Soyuz. And I do not know that of、uh, the situation that the spacesuit are being developed for small people. But maybe in the future, when more people go to space, maybe a spacesuit for children or, or different design may come、uh, available. Thank you very much for the question. Now, a question from Tokyo site、uh, Fourth Grader Yuna Shinkai. If I can ever go to space, as I'm 10 years old now, it will be like 20 years from now. What kind of experiments do you think would be on demand 20 years from now in the future? はい、どうもありがとうございます。私たち今あの宇宙でいろんな実験をしています。Thank you very much for that question. We are conducting various experiments now. And、uh, those would be useful、uh, in the future, but、uh, that is going to be a very long time in the future for those to be useful for the people on the ground. But、uh, in 20 years, I hope that, that those would be useful for people's day to day life, but especially gathering data. For the future drugs, it would be one. And also, I had been conducting a material related experiments using the space environment and、um, the research and study the characteristic of certain material. And、uh, getting that data would allow us to make a, a better material on the ground. And I hope that、uh, you will, will continue to do that kind of research. I hope that、uh, you will be able to go to space in 20 years from now. Now we seem to have more time, so we would like to continue asking questions from Tokyo now. I am Lirika Suzuki.、Uh, we saw you got a haircut through Google Plus, but、uh, do you find any difference in the speed of hair growth in space compared to here on the, the Earth? Thank you very much for the interesting question. Yes, the other day I had my hair cut. But probably the speed of hair growth is the same in space and on the ground. But、uh, in space, it is far easier with、uh, shorter hair uh, because, uh, for example, getting shampoo, you cannot use water. So we use just towel and you cannot、uh, use water. So I really feel very comfortable in short hair. I believe that I will continue to have this kind of short hair cut. Thank you very much.、Uh, I think we are. Getting very close to the end of this、uh, communication. Actually, almost 800 people are gathering in three sites Tokyo, Sapporo, and Fukuoka, which will give us、uh, some message to other people who are gathering here. Tokyo, Fukuoka, and the Kaijo, 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 and the Kaij
that uh, show you that side of Earth seen from the, the International, International Space Station. I have taken those pictures beforehand. I hope that uh, you will see this picture later on. My stay here is going to be one month and a half left, and I would like to continue to do various experiments. I hope that uh, you will continue to support me, and after I go back to Earth, I I hope that I will be able to see you all. Thank you very much for your questions. Mr. Onishi, thank you very much, everyone on three sides. Thank you very much together. Thank you very much, Mr. Onishi. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you. Thank you, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency participants. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.